Hi everyone, I'm Sue Merriman and I'm the sponsor and ambassador for Park Bench Port Perry, an exciting new website designed to promote local businesses in the Port Perry area. And today I'm delighted to be interviewing John, the owner of Marcel's Kitchen here on Island Road in Port Perry. So welcome, John. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. glad, glad to be interviewing you today. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Marcel's Kitchen? Sure. Um, we are a gluten-free kitchen facility. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no wheat. We deal most obviously with celiacs, but we deal with probably a more um, wheat-free people. Oh, there's okay. a lot of people that have a problem digesting wheat. Um, we have probably about 70 products and, really? and they taste good. We don't yeah. sell anything that tastes bad. <laughs> it, if it doesn't taste like real food, we don't, we do not sell it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's gotten better over the years, more refined. Yes. And yeah. um, there's more people, I think, that maybe didn't realize in the past that they needed a gluten-free diet. Yes. And now they're, they're now they're, the uh, products are more accessible. We're probably finding more people, a uh, bigger business Yeah, there's some say that with the wheat, probably about six to seven percent of the population mm -hmm. yeah. which is a Has huge trouble. yes yeah yeah yeah, wow. yeah. and so I'm you know it's, it's like dairy free there's a you know there's so many it's, it's an autoimmune disease that it wow. attacks your cilia in your small intestine okay. and that's I what I did not notice yes that. no, that's, that's where it comes from and that's why it's called gluten because what happens your cilia get clogged up with um, the gluten clogs it up and then your body stops digesting minerals or vitamins oh. and basically your body just basically starves to death. Oh really? Yeah, oh, you, okay. you can't get that and that's, yeah, yeah so. But this isn't your first shop though, is it? Like you, uh, you, you well, I did a diabetic shop before this, but this yeah. is this is my great grandfather's farm, so I've never, I've lived here forever. Oh really? So yeah, so oh, this was goodness. a way to get out of milking frigging cows all the time. <laughs> mm, I'm good. quite happy to say yeah. I got out of it. So, I bet, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't choose Port Perry, Port Perry kind of chose you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was kind of a given. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, wonderful. Yeah. Um, so what is something um, most people don't know about Marcel's Bakery? Um, probably that we do a lot of vegan and keto stuff too, oh, especially keto. Uh, keto is a fat-based diet that's been going for a few years and keeps getting bigger. Um, yeah. I, I use it a little bit only because I'm um, insulin, I'm a diabetic, so I shoot less insulin when I, when well, I do keto. It, it makes a difference. Oh yeah, it does, because if you take your carbs out, you have no carbs, no sugar. So people yeah. that are on that are really looking for something sweet or a dessert. Yeah. We're making a cheesecake we're playing with right now. It has a really nice almond crust. You can, it's yeah. very Pacific, very expensive because oh. almond flour is huge. Yes. Yes. And, yeah. and coconut, mm. not as much, but the almond, the almond flour, flour works is. better. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So have you always been in the bakery business? Um, we've been, I started this store 20 some years ago and we had a bakery right from the start, but okay. about five years in, I actually for a few years, it was a chocolate factory uh -huh. and uh, not great. mine, another lady's. Yeah. And then um, we went to diabetic because of the casino down the road. I thought mm -hmm. diabetes, diabetics being over 60, I would be able to make some money on them, yeah. uh -huh. but diabetics cheat. <clears throat> oh. They don't follow the diet. So <laughs> celiacs can't cheat. They're no. much better customers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Uh, what would your customers say that they love the most about coming here? Because um, you can talk about your craft. You, you, you do more than just uh, uh, baked goods. Right. You, you have mm -hmm. a whole other part of your Yeah, I, I made a living at retail for the first 10 years or 8 years at the store. Okay. But it just became... Just sourcing uh, I, Yeah, I products. think the webs, that's us trying to get on Amazon or selling our dry mixes because I think that's where it's going. Yes. And I think small, your small brick and mortar stores are going to have a harder and harder time, especially in the retail end, if they because don't. it's so easy to order off Amazon and everything else and you yeah. can send it back. And I really think, mm -hmm. like, I don't know how, like, I'm scared, like little towns, you go up north and you'll see like small towns where about every other shop is closed Close up. Yes. And I, you know, it hasn't happened here in Port Perry or in this area mm -hmm. yet, but yeah. No. You know, that's, it's scary when you think about it, yeah, right? Yeah, we, uh, we, we really have to support each other and keep, we a, do. keep yeah. local business. And that was my other question, like, why is it important to support local business? Yeah, that's all I do. I won't, yeah. I had a guy tell me, I was in one of the local stores, he said, well, you know, you can buy that in Oshawa for $20 <laughs> cheaper. And I said, yeah. yeah, but then I'll have to go to Oshawa all the time because these guys are going to go out of business. That's so right. you got to support yeah. them. Totally Perfect. believe that, yeah. yes. So you've lived in Port Perry 
your whole, whole life. life. Same house. Mm. What's, what's your favorite part about living in Port Perry? Um, I like that it's still getting busier, but I can go on my bicycle and just go for a ride, or I can get on my motorcycle and go for a ride and not be in traffic. Yeah. Mm, oh. I think that's easily the best part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my group, I raised four kids here. Now my two grandchildren are here. Yeah. Um, good place to Yeah, it's a good place. A it's, yeah, it is. It's, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. So is there anything exciting that we should know about that's going on at Marcel's right now? Uh, we're going to try to do more hors d'oeuvres and oh. make for parties and that. It's mostly go into Christmas or even Thanksgiving. Not really, we're not ready for Easter, but mm -hmm. we get asked a lot and for weddings. Right. So, I, yes, so we're, that's where we're focusing our time now is yeah. trying to find little uh, hints. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, little, uh, what is it, little quiches? Yeah, it's a little quiche that they made. So oh. we're, we're just playing, yeah. trying to come up with some different ones. So you know, Keep everything. Yeah, really so they have fresh. like a, a list of different products that they could order, right? right? Yeah, right. like we've That's done cool. cupcakes for weddings. We've done wedding cakes. Yeah. But, um, gluten free. Gluten free. There you yeah. go. Wow, yeah. that's, yeah. that's fantastic. It's a, it yeah. is. Yeah, it, it's pretty. We're, we run, it's a very <laughs> unique business that we're in, awesome. and um, yeah, we yeah, cool. we like it. Okay. We do. Yeah. Well, John, thank you so much oh, for you, uh, for uh, letting me ask you some questions today and, and spending some time, and. Uh, for more information on John or Marcel's Kitchen Gluten-Free Bakery, um, please see the information below or visit us on parkbench.com forward slash Port Perry, or you can visit our Facebook page all about Port Perry. Thank you for watching this interview and stay tuned for exciting new interviews from our local businesses and professionals. Bye for now. Thank you. Mm.